Good evening everybody, happy Sunday, hope you're alright. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing some of my own songs for a change. So, a quick drink of water. We're going to start with um, this one called Set Us Free. Sitting talking to myself, asking questions that I don't understand. All about this world in which we live in, it's so tense. People dealing with too many demands. All I ask for is love. So I don't know if anybody's there and I can't see if there's any comments, um, but hopefully you'll enjoy the little set. Um, okay, this next song is called Simplify. Um, I read a book by uh, an author called uh, Dominique Leroux and it's all about how you should simplify your life and make it easier. Um, I took none of the advice whatsoever, but um, it inspired me to write this song and sort of apply it to the relationship. I like the idea of simplify. So this is um, simplify.
close to falling, but now we're still holding on. Gripping so tightly to a love that's still to come. Oh, baby, the time is running out. It's getting me down. Feels like so long that you've been hanging. Simplify, which I wrote about two years ago, maybe. All right. Okay. This next song, this is the Japanese one. That's how people know it by using some lovely pentatonics. Um, this is a song I wrote. It's my little love affair with Kyoto, really, the Japanese city. Um, it's one of my favourite places in the world, and I visited there after quite a horrendous summer where I lost a few people who were very dear to me um, and that's where I kind of uh, got the idea for writing this song because that city kind of helped ease that situation a little bit so this was um, it's about my love of Kyoto after my tricky summer Hanging pe 
next one um this is an upbeat one but it's all about the state of the world um yeah i wrote this quite a few years ago now probably six seven years ago and it's called why um it has a bit of a kind of gospely feel so um i hope you like it um kind of resonates a bit at the minute here we go I'm back. 
I'm glad that my life has been so full, but it's the only one I've had to appreciate nature, birds and trees and skies, and to ask myself this question. song doesn't mean you still can't cock it up you know right okay speaking of cocking things up um, I'm gonna do another of my own songs um, and I can find the words because I need the words for my own songs which is a little bit soul-destroying after doing all of those covers and not needing the words can everybody see me out oh, the other night it slipped didn't it so yeah kind of that looks all right okay so um, this is called falling for you supposed to have like three vocal parts at the end but I think we might struggle a bit tonight with no live audience. Okay. Move closer to me, breathe in and speak softly. Sure, nobody knows. 
potters that's falling for you and the other potters falling for you falling for you and we build them up but of course there's nobody here huh. so I will just sing the chorus over the top one more time cause I think I'm falling for Thank you. That was my song Falling For You. Alright, hope you enjoyed that one. Alright, this next song is about New York City. Um, yeah, I wrote this in 2015, early 2015. Wrote some of it in New York and then some of it back here. Um, yeah, the High Line's a lovely little place in New York. It's an old railroad that runs down the um, west side, west side. Um, and it was sort of disused and they turned it into this really nice public park um, so you can walk all the way down the length of the west side um, on this sort of suspended railroad um, and it's a really nice place um, and I went there one morning with a hangover and lots of thoughts in my head about how it would be a nice place to um, enjoy with someone so this is about the High Line Oh, my. 
stuff tonight folks um i should do more of it really i suppose i don't know if anyone's still listening um but i i do um write a lot of songs um and i only gig every now and again with them so uh this is a nice chance to play some for you tonight so let me know what you think um if you like them um put a comment below if you don't like them send me a private message <laughs> um but yeah let me know uh, that'd be nice um let me know which ones you like um and then i can can know which ones to include when i do some more Shows and things. So, um, this last song I'm going to end with is um, based on one of my favourite movies called Call Me By Your Name. Um, and that's the name of my song. Um, it's a Luca Guadagnino film, Italian director, um, set in northern Italy. And it's the story, the love affair of Elio and Oliver. Um, and it's just a beautiful movie. If you haven't seen it, it's great. You know, out in the Italian countryside, nice and slow kind of laid back captures the summer um and this is about their summer summer romance so this is um call me by your name thanks very much for listening i hope you enjoy it Elio was walking through the snow he didn't know which way
knowing that this could be the end. But now he understands love. Now he understands love. Staring into the fireplace. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. Um, so, yeah, tonight doing some of my own stuff for you was uh, was an absolute pleasure. Um, it was different. I was more nervous. I get more nervous doing my own stuff than I do um, doing covers, you know. So, um, but I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did enjoy them, if you want to hear some of the sort of full versions, I've got versions that I've got um, all the bells and whistles on, you know, they're on SoundCloud. So just go on to SoundCloud and search um, John Hopkinson. Um, and you should find some of those songs and some of the titles of them will appear on my um, page after this I'll, I'll put them on there so you can see you know on, on Facebook see what they're called and stuff so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that thanks a lot um, thanks for listening good night see you later